Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Royce. I am your runner runner. Welcome back to another gameplay video. Now, today's gameplay is going to be a special two-parter. Well, kind of. I'm going to use this gameplay in combination with another gameplay that I caught, and I'm going to talk about something that I absolutely love. A survival mode of airsoft that we don't hear about very often. Now, there's a lot of different ways to play pickup games. However, some pickup games are designed in such a way to make you work cohesively as a team, hunker down in a bunker, and try to outlast the rest of the airsofters on the field. In today's video, we are playing Infection out at Go Airheads Airsoft Field in Erie, Colorado. One of the great things about this game was that we all split up into small squads. Our squad had four on it. Myself, Big Red Airsoft, GW Airsoft, and one of GW Airsoft's friends. Links down in the description below if you guys want to see what those guys are about. But all of us decided that we had to outlast the zombie infestation that was happening in this game. So, in order to do this, our best bet was to find a spot, hunker down, and while we were there, myself and Big Red Airsoft got to work with the younger airsofters and teach them some tactical dynamics and how you should actually hold a door or spot or peek or what to look for when you're actually playing on a field and thinking tactically. So a big shout out to Big Red Airsoft. Thank you so much for being a part of this game and helping to teach these younger players while we were playing. And without any further ado, let's get into infection. I think, hell, I think I'm the only one on our team that's coming. And then we just have to go run out and play tag with people. Off the start of the game, all of the different squads decided to separate out and go pick their spots. We chose this L-shaped container right on the edge of field two and field three. It seemed to work out very well for us and a lot of the enemy had no idea where we were. There you go. Hey, boy. You can hear Big Red Airsoft in the background coaching that younger player on how to train up and how to shoot and where to stand to stay concealed. Hey, yo, right there. You guys see that muzzle right there on the door? No, right there in front of you. Close up, close up. There are enemy players in the container just about 25 feet outside of the entry of our container. We got a mob of people coming up on the back. What the hell? They're hit, they're hit. My hop up was set just a little too much, so I over hopped those guys like crazy. Why is my gun misfeeding? Hey, Red. At this point, much of the field is turning into infected players. Once a player is infected, they cannot use a primary rifle. They must use a pistol or their hands to go and infect other players on the field. Yeah, I know we are. That's the problem. Uh, looks like there's some infected people possibly moving. I don't know. This. Is this guy dead or is this guy alive? Help me. Oh, we got infected there. Huh? We got two infected. Two infected? Oh, stay, 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 stay. I got this. You stay there. Huh? Fine, be that way. Yeah, it's just one facing you. I know. You see that bus? You see anybody? I was having a little misfeed issues on that one and I was only able to land a BB on two of those guys. 
Now, if I'm not mistaken, I think those guys also got waylaid from the two-story building as well. Okay, took a couple people out. What do you want to do start with more? Yeah. Yep. So basically, we're just going to box ourselves in. Oh, this is going to be a great game. No, that's the wrap. You good? Yeah. Okay. Are you guys dead or alive? What? At this point of the game, I think that we are the only team that is not infected alive on the field. Moving up the back side. Man, my babies are dropping way before they usually do. The infected horde is starting to surround us, and we're starting to have a big problem with being able to know where they're going to come from. Our right side is going to be exposed up there. What should we do? We take that sprint straight across? Go back to that corner. Huh? Can they affect it? Uh, I don't know how they work. I think they just go down for like 10 or 15 seconds. Oh, they can walk. Yeah, I know. Alright, um. Yeah. Which corner is the problem? Good question. We still. Are we the only ones alive? Where are we? And that's it for me for this game. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed this survival style of Airsoft. We were actually the last team left alive, therefore we actually won that game. I hope you all enjoy. I look forward to seeing you all next time, but don't forget to go down below, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to keep up with more on Runner Runner Airsoft.